Well, I got convicted and I appealed, um, but the, the, uh, they, they, um, they first of all charged us with malicious damage, you see. And so we said that we weren't being malicious. We were improving the situation and we had very good intentions because we were trying to stop all the kids being hooked and that this thing being reinforced and so So they were a bit worried that, that we'd get off on the malicious damage. So they charged me with willfully marking premises with paint. Now it turns out that a premise is a structure fixed to the earth, a permanent structure fixed to the earth, right? Okay. But the paper on a billboard is temporary because it gets changed every three months. So that in fact, it it the the paper on the billboard is not a premise. It's a temporary piece. So in fact, the prosecution found this and got me off and dropped the charge when it was on appeal because, of course, they didn't like us being in court because we like we. You know, the judge, the, the barrister said to me, do you just say nothing and I'll get you off? And I said, no, 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 no. That's not going to happen. No, 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 no. I said, I haven't done this for you to get me off. I said, I've done this to get rid of tobacco advertising in Australia. He said, well, I don't think I want to take it. I said, look, if, I said, look, if you don't want to do what you're told, I said, piss off and I'll get a different lawyer or not have a lawyer. I said, I am not going to shut up so that you can say you won the case. I said, this is not, this is not what it's all about, right? Oh, he said, is that how you feel about it? I said, yeah, you can take it or leave it, mate. So he took it, you know. Uh, but then, of course, they dropped, they dropped the uh, charge. But from our point of view, the more you adjourned it, and you got more publicity every time it was coming up, right? And then you got, Interesting. More, you got interviewed more. So, you know, from our point of view, you did it once and then you appealed and you appealed and you adjourned and you buggerized around. <laughs> and the, the police lady who'd been there when I got arrested, which was one Saturday night when I was silly enough, I'd... I'd gone out to a terrible dinner in a terrible restaurant. And as I was going home, I said to my girlfriend, I'll just do that billboard on the way home. Well, of course, Saturday night was a pretty dumb time to do it. Really. So yeah. But anyway, the police lady who was there, she, the whole thing had dragged on for about 18 months, right? We'd had all these appearances and she'd, she'd gotten pregnant in the meantime. So there she was. And I was going to court. She's, she's about five minutes before delivery and she waddles in, you know, she said, if I ever see one of you blokes again, she said, I'm going to look the other way. <laughs> she realised <laughs> that the trouble. police were just the ham in the sandwich here and she wasn't going to get involved again. And in a sense, that, that was uh, the way the police saw it in the end. They thought, look, you know, this is a political campaign. We don't want to know, you know.